In this video, I'm going to show you 10 affordable niche style fragrances. Niche means they're not designer brand names, but they're all made in Dubai. One of them is made in Paris, and they all have an emphasis on oud. These are affordable under 50, under 40, some are even under $30. If you look for these and find them ever, they're hard to find, first of all, in the United States. And if you do, they simply have the title. No other information. We're going to shout out Bobby Kellis. Video will help you resolve your pain of looking at these titles and not knowing what they smell like. I'm going to give you my first take. This is called Judith Oud. When I first sprayed this, I got a lot of cinnamon and fiery notes coming in. It actually has something called civet inside here. Also, castoronium, which is also known as beaver butt. If you don't know, that's like the underneath of a beaver, the, the secretion, the scent is in here. It also has... The oud floating around. Can you see the oud in there? Basically, you have a sweet, leathery, vanilla incense fragrance when it all dries down, lasting about four to five hours. The next one's cool by Rihanna. It looks like Dolce Gabbana, a famous fragrance from them. It's derived from Malaysian oud, and this fragrance is one of my favorites on this list because it just smells good. I do detect a touch of tobacco in here. You've got musk and jasmine, and of course you have some sandalwood and oud in here. And again, this thing sprays on slightly thick. I'd like to let it dry five minutes and double spray to increase the longevity. The next one is called Basat Ali, and my friends at this hip hop jewelry store, they bought like six or seven bottles of this particular one. I guess they tried it once, I let them smell it. And it has fruit notes mixed with the oud and spice. It's a little bit a darker, fresh, fruity. It's kind of unique. The next three come in a 4.2 ounce bottle. And they look exactly like the high-end line of Dolce Gabbana's private line called Velvet. Like this one's Velvet Amber Oud by Rihanna. It's the 4.2 ounce bottle with the magnetic top. And it resembles... Dolce Gabbana Velvet Amber Sun. It's a golden citrus. It's got some iris. It has some honey in it as well. It's a very bright unisex floral fragrance and it does last a decent amount of time. Again, it's leaning slightly feminine. The next one is called Finally Dries Down Velvet White Musk. Has a slight musky, spicy, and it does have a very prominent rose in it i think they use a demand cow rose i heard that was a rare rose so it's not bad especially for the price i think all three of these were like 89 dollars the links will be provided down below they also make one called velvet oud it's in a black box and velvet oud is the longest lasting of the three looks just like this in a black bottle and it's got darker notes it's a darker leathery oud dolce gabbana also makes one called velvet oud just so you know i think they have a fetish for dolce and gabbana the next one is also by nusuk it's called perfect oud perfect oud is just simply a floral vanilla oud people said it reminds them of leighton but i didn't get that because leighton has apple and this one doesn't but for a beginner oud fragrance like oud means spicy oud is a resin from a southeastern tree if you don't know this is a nice entry level oud the next one is called deep sense deep sense is says made in paris but the company actually comes from dubai and this one is just called deep sense smells exactly like Tom Ford Black Orchid. Furthermore, this one spray on my hand lasted 12 hours, if not 24 hours, as a skin scent. It's the longest lasting one on the whole list. The next one is called Musky Oud. Musky Oud is the most mass appealing fragrance for both men or women. So there you go. This thing also lasts a super long time. The second or up to the catching up with that deep sense as far as longevity, projection, and mass appeal. This is more mass appealing than Tom Ford Black Orchid in my eyes. And then you have this one. It's called Taraf Al Oud. Taraf Al Oud smells like a leather fragrance like Tom Ford Ombre leather. And then you have this one. Have you ever heard of Harmain Amber Oud? I suppose this is their take on it. It's called Amber Oud by Nusuk and this one is double the size because Ambrew by Harmain is two ounce bottle. This is the four 
3.4 ounce bottle comes in this box I don't get the same longevity as Al Haramain Amber Oud but it's got a little bit more depth it's got a darker juice to it and again if you double spray it you will get the same longevity because that's how sometimes these concentrations work comment down below anything you want I want to hear some some conversations going on see how many thumbs up you can get plus here's the secret message I was going to tell you I'll see you on the next video the secret giveaway we're giving away one bottle of musky rose all you have to do is share this video and comment down below that i want musky rose musky rose is a an affordable niche fragrance that we have a end of year clearance on two bottles for less than fifty dollars you get two brand new in the beautiful box and presentation bottle musky rose is a jasmine floral slight spice sex fragrance.